Hi guys, this is Astropark and today I want to talk to you about my trend is your friend indicators series. So version one, two, three, and the series one, which is the one you are seeing applied uh, in the chart, and the trend is Skywalker. So basically this green one is the version one, this purple blue one is uh, the version two, this gray black one is uh, the version three. So once they are all bullish. Uh, confluence is shown by this bull or this bear signal. Also, we have this nice bar coloring. So, green for the trend, the bullish trend, red for the bearish trend, yellow when uh, there is a signal, uh, a new trend, and blue, a new bearish trend. Okay. Just for uh, for your visual, this is instead the Grand Skywalker one. Okay. One one thing I uh, have to say: these indicators uh, are meant for uh, basically higher time frames trading. So at least one hour or four hour better. Okay. Because for example, if you enable this strategy. Okay, on four hour, it's a, a pretty nice uh, net profit. Please consider that I always supply commission, and this is the trading in, uh, in two years almost. Okay, so despite uh, a drop down, you are really in a very good profit because of consistency. Okay, but if you go on lower time frames, for example, 15 minutes, uh, you will not make any profit following this strategy blindly. You need to understand which uh, signal to follow and uh, which to skip and where to take profit. Because one, uh, one thing, one important thing of this indicator is that uh, it doesn't uh, take profit. Uh, there is not a, tri a trailing stop, for example, or uh, a take profit mechanism. Okay, so let's see one by one how they they works. Okay, so basically when um, this is defined as uh, this cloud is uh, the, the trend. Okay, when the trend is lost, the indicator becomes bearish, and when it's gained back, it's uh, bullish, and so on. Okay, very very easily. And this is for uh, for every one of these trend is your friend indicators okay must be said also that uh, all these three indicators are let's say twin sisters okay because the algorithm inside is uh, is pretty different besides the the way how they looks they are quite similar okay especially with version one and version two version three is a bit different and uh, you have also more uh, options to show the cloud, okay? And you may say, uh, sorry, Park, so what's the meaning of this variant? Okay, so this is how the cloud is calculated. Of course, the default settings are always the suggested one and uh, how you should choose so basically based on uh, backtesting so for example let's enable the backtesting indicator from version 3 okay so uh, let's say hi, we have this uh, kind of uh, result for ethereum Let's see what we get if uh, we put the one. So the one is uh, is really better. The two, not so much. The three, we already saw, and the fourth. No. So for example, you may like to trade using the version one. We can try to enable the Akinashi analysis. Okay. So the what does it mean that the indicators? Uh, decide to buy and sell 
internally translating all the candles as Ekinashi candles. So if uh, we have a close of the Ekinashi candles above the cloud, then it is defined to make a buy and so on. Also, the version 3 has uh, this specific uh, option so enable more confirmations mode as you can see the price broke here but the buy was uh, set uh, after some candles and here you don't have a flip-flop for example which you will have instead in this case okay uh, which kills kills really kills profit for example Okay. What you can do also, uh, you can change the, the length. You can choose the 200, for example, WhatsApp. The, the net profit increase is increased dramatically, for example, in this case. Okay. With the more confirmation, we, we lose something. So it's always good to have. And uh, you can change the year of the testing. Also the hand, so if you want to backtest a specific time frame, for example, a specific month, you may like to skip the short, so you only the long. In this case, uh, you you win better. Okay, so the result results are really really good if you trade on a high time frame. So if you are a scalper, if you like one minute, thirty second, five minute trading, so this is not for you. This is for swing trades. So basically, you can run this over a bot and forget. You put your money in at the beginning and you check after six months, after one year, and so on. So this is the mind you, the mindset you need to have when you want to use an indicator like this. So you must not be in any hurry, so no rush. You just start it, use it, and uh, you forget it, okay? So this is like a passive income that you can uh, you, you can have using this indicator. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's quite uh, interesting. So what is this peak profit? Uh, some some someone says, oh, but this this label uh, repaints. So no, no, yeah, this indicator this label repaints because every time you have a a higher close, for example, here this label moves. Okay, you can see basically this with the uh, um, with our replay. Okay, so if uh, I do a replay here, just an example, you will see that this label will move. Oh, Oops. too much back. Okay. You can see that this label moves so it keeps tracks of your profit if you bought here and and you set here your uh, leverage okay so 10x 10x leverage so in this case it keeps track of your profit but why i inserted this because this way you are alerted to take profits because uh, many of uh, many traders lose because they don't just don't take profit so basically when you have some kind of peaks you take profit and you you invest back the profit when uh, price is back at the channel for example this is something you should apply generically okay if you are trading manually. If you're not trading manually, you don't need to look at this. You can just disable, okay? You can just disable and and that's it. Okay, so I guess um, I give you an idea how this works. So let's check, for example, another chart, Bitcoin, Bitcoin USDT. And let's check this, for example, but let's check the, the strategy version so we can understand how this works. So we again, you have a lot of, uh, of profit in less than two years. The drop down is really low, but really low. 
compare it to the profit and what happens if uh, we, we change this so basically you see this is something that uh, somehow must be low otherwise uh, you really don't do so much profit but that's why this, uh, this is uh, the suggested value and uh, what if we remove this we make less profit okay but what if we do this for example we don't win so here again the the basic settings uh, are the the most better ones so let's check also on six hour for example six hours are good also good on one day but this is basically one you want to use on in the four hour really let's check other charts for example tron again you have uh, some nice profit and what if we do this no so again this is the the, the good value you want to have also here the Ignashi is applied by default and it's suggested to, to use it but if we disable the short we don't uh, improve so you want to have buff enabled okay but the the most important thing is that you are really profitable but what if uh, in your trading in your bot trading journey something like this happens we have a drop down of 55 percent so you are aware of it so this can happen to you so you invest uh, 10k and some somehow at some point you may have 5k okay in this case this happened uh, not at the beginning because uh, we started with uh, 100 and uh, here uh, he lost uh, 385 so it happened in uh, not at the beginning but after some time what you would do if something like this happened you invest more because backtesting shows that uh, this strategy works so you can uh, put again the same side you have double your size and uh, you have a better results okay you would have incremented this dramatically of course you can decide to put for example an initial capital like this and only invest always 10 percent of course the max drop down is uh, is very low but the same for the net profit okay you increment it in two years by 45 percent risking really uh, a very low risk this is up to you okay in my in my mind when uh, you put the initial capital this is never all your capital this is a part of your capital that you are investing totally in a bot like this okay so it's clear that uh, if a bot made a minus 50 percent you invest again in any, uh, an equal amount and uh, you will be more than happy because you you bought the dip let's say of the bot okay so this is quite uh, something i do personally in my bot trading experience okay here in, instead if you always put 20 percent of their sides you have a drop down which is very very low and a very nice profit you double your capital in less than two years okay and you don't do anything okay you don't do anything just make it to run 
Okay, let's see the trend is your friend version two. It's even better, I guess. If I remember, this is also good on higher time frames. Well, surely not on uh, on Tron, basically. You see, the progression is not good, really. So, two hour and four hours. These are good. Let's see another. So let's say chain link, for example. So chain link is a quite a good. So let's see. You see, on one hour, this indicator does not do any profit. Okay. On six hour, well, daily. So we are doing profit. Okay. Again, in this case, uh, you always have commission, you full, go always to full size. And uh, let's see, if you are bullish on something, you may try and want to always keep the short. Besides, uh, I don't suggest it. Uh, Kinashi helps here um, a lot. And what uh, we can uh, we can do uh, yes, as you can see by default the show peak profit trader is uh, hidden because it would be a mess the chart for me it's a mess but if you like to have this alert you can enable what if we do something like this we kill the profits totally okay yeah we do a few trades but drop down is always high and we are not doing any profit so this you want this to be low always okay you can uh, change if you like but not very you will not put a value very distance from uh, from 20. this is in my experience okay and we also we already saw the version 3 version 3 is just for uh, you have a really high value here and always for high time frame trading again if we go on one hour don't expect it. no it, it's working great on one hour in this case i didn't expect as i was saying but uh, surprise surprise So I'm I'm doing this live, guys, because uh, I I don't prepare really my my videos. Mm, okay, so we have some good configuration also for the version three that we can find on the lower times, but really not if we go below one hour. Yeah, it's impossible. Below one hour, it's really impossible. Okay, so this is the trend is a friend. I guess you understood. Let's check the trend skywalker. Okay, trend skywalker. Um, I am quite uh, proud of this indicator because um, it's a it's a usable also in fifteen minutes, not as a bot trading. I mean, it's not good. I mean, you, have, you can have a 57% uh, with a net profit uh, really low, so you are only risking. Okay, so I really don't suggest, but there is a way to use it. Okay, let's, let's check, for example, this chart. Again, don't check, don't look at the net profit. I will tell you how to use it. Okay. So, the one of the things that uh, these uh, indicators show to you. So let's uh, remove again the so the background coloring. Let's remove for the moment uh, and remove the peak profit. Okay. And we remove also the bounds. Well, let's let's keep it up. 
Okay, so the trend, uh, you, I forgot to say here, you can have some bigger triangles when the trend cloud is uh, broken out, okay? By default, I prefer to have this uh, disabled. So, as you can see, let's check this for a better understanding. This is a, a really good, good trend follower. Okay, it's very, very fast. Okay, so you, you buy here, you are still good here if we don't lose, but uh, we are uh, staying within the trend gap too much. So after something like this happens, when you go again inside the cloud, you, th you can easily understand that we are going to crash. Okay, so the price is going to trend on the other side. Always putting a stop loss above recent high and you can easily short, okay? Okay, again, we are spending too much time here. So you understand that uh, we are going to, to break it. So you, you can start buying here with stop loss below recent low and go, okay? This was uh, an, a fake out, so you can start shorting here again because we already tested many times the, the trend and so on. Okay, so in this case, uh, uh, with the always applying a trailing stop loss strategy, for example, you have this peak, you, you put stop loss here, we price bounced back and started trading like this, but the trend, the trend cloud is, is a really Real thing, real thing. So you don't have a, a trend here. So you, you put trend, a trend stop here, okay? And you are a stop loss, basically. But you don't buy, in my opinion, okay? There is no, no real trend. And you can see price is dancing on the trend cloud. Okay, all this dance here, the, the trend is a thicker, so you can go with a short. Again, price inside for too much time, great region to buy, stop loss below, recent low, and you go. And you, you can do a lot, a lot of, really a lot of trades. Okay, sometimes you are stop loss and for the same uh, reasoning. Trend is, is strong, but price is, uh, is not, uh, really following. So in this case, what you do is you keep, uh, you keep uh, uh, a side, okay? So you, you may short here, stop loss below, stop loss here, but we're spending here too much, so buy, you buy here, stop loss below recent, and uh, it's fine. You are doing some fine profit. So this is a swing failure pattern. And this way, you you may close your long position and start shorting already here. So you can short, for example, here, yes, stop loss again above the here, and you do a lot of profit. So this is also very, for mono trading on 15 minutes, it's a really great, okay? Great strategy. Not for bot trading, of course, okay? I told you. Instead, the, the same applies, of course, the same applies, of course, on high time frames. So the logic is pretty, pretty the same. Okay. Basically, yeah. This was the last since May. Yeah. Big short opportunity price dancing inside. So you want to be bullish. Price here is a. Uh, not clear what to, you want to do, and this is uh, what uh, what happens. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this video, and uh, let me know if in the comments. Cheers.